Dr. Zumo, on first things first with you, it looks like you were doing a procedure. You opted not to go with a formal surgery. Tell us about that. Correct. Uh, you know, despite Brandy having an excellent primary reconstruction, you know, she was left with a thickened skin graft and a, a scar tissue that was forming around her lower eyelid. But I opted to not address this surgically at first because she was still healing and it could potentially create more issues uh, down the road. So we opted to try a non-invasive approach using a microneedling uh, pen along with a combined treatment with a scar cream. And that uh, session along with the course of the scar cream helped to continue thin out the skin graft with time and also improve the texture of the scar. So it's, it, I think it's going to continue to improve with time. Awesome. And Dr. Wright, you did it. Yes. You did it. You were on the stage. You said you were going to give her her vision and you did it. Thank you very much. But the truth is, it was a team, her and I. I knew that if she was awake, we could align the eyes perfectly. Otherwise, wow. if she's under anesthesia or even sedated, how do we know where You would have just are? been guessing. You'd be so, guessing. So, obviously, you could feel yes. the pressure and that. <laughs> yes. But in this case, I think you can say the ends justify the means, right? Absolutely. I would do it all over. And yeah. Dr. Boxer Walkler, you were the first to meet Brandy. What's it, what's it like to see the transformation? It's amazing because I see that this has empowered her. Mm -hmm. And that is so important when it comes to domestic violence against yeah. women. And to see her 180 degrees different, not just how she looks, but as Brandy said, how she feels what's inside. And that's a huge message for women mm -hmm. in these potential situations to know that they can feel empowered to do something, whether they're on the other end of it as Brandy, or before it gets to that point. And I know Brandy wants to help spread that message too. So what message would you like to give to other people who might still be suffering through that and wondering if there is going to be help for them, if they can get out? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a motivational speaker now. I go around and I tell my story and I, you know, I help others. And that's what I do. And from my story and from, you know, everybody else's that I hear, you know, I. I tell them, you know, leave today because there may not be tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Well, Brandy, I, I thank you for sharing your story. Your story is so relatable. It's so powerful. So please keep on motivating people with your message of hope. Uh, and, and also, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank your team of, of superstar docs. I love my team. They have been amazing. And my daughter, absolutely. You keep taking care of your mom, all right? She's you guys, biggest you, fan. Well, you two, are, you, you two are such a good team. Absolutely. So keep up the great work.